I'm Mercedes. This is the plant material. How I obtained this, I already explained in the video from the greenhouse to the lab. Um, so now I find myself in a situation in which lots of researchers find themselves very often. I want to find out what are the components of my sample. And in order to do so, I will use gel electrophoresis. So first, I will bring the components that I'm interested in into a solution. That's something that I've already prepared here. Um, right now, I'm interested in proteins, so I've prepared a protein gel. But gel electrophoresis can be also used for DNA and RNA. It's just that it looks a little bit different. So I will load my proteins now into the gel. And um, my proteins are negatively loaded. So when I switch on the current, they will run through the gel to the positive electrode. So the current is like this, the positive electrode is on the lower part and the negative electrode is on the upper part. And that's why the proteins are going to run through the gel to the positive electrode. The smaller proteins, they can run faster through the gel. So they will be found at the end of the gel in the lower part. And the bigger proteins, they run slower through the gel so they will be found on the upper side of the gel. That's how I can separate my proteins after their size. And this is the principle of gel electrophoresis, to separate molecules after the size uh, with the help of a current. So now it starts. <laughs> 